Hi everyone, North Jersey Gardening here. Uh, today is March 31st, uh, giving you an update on my uh, fruit trees. Um, it's a little bit windy, hope the wind doesn't get in the way of the sound. Uh, so like I mentioned before, this is uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, citrus trees that I started planting from seeds about 3-4 years ago. And over the years, the uh, tags uh, fell out. So actually, I have no idea which is which. <laughs> but they're growing. They grew as um, evergreens, actually. So it was nice to have uh, them grow indoors with all the green leaves um, uh, staying on them throughout the winter while everything is uh, sad little sticks like the figs. And uh, um, I think I have a nectarine and an apricot up there that lose their leaves through the winter time. Uh, but the citrus and the loquats, those are the loquats over there, uh, retain their uh, green leaves through the winter, their evergreens. Um, so I have about, I would say, like maybe 18, 19 different citruses, and they could be uh, oranges, lemons, clementines. They were fruits. I started, I don't know what happened, like four, four three, four years ago. Um, I tasted uh, the best tasting uh, clementine ever and uh, it turned out to have a seed in it um, well a couple of seeds and I planted it and a few days later it sprouted out uh, that was three about three four years ago and then ever since then I never gardened before really but that's uh, what started me going um, so after that, every time I ate something that I liked that had seeds in it, I would uh, start to plant it. So within a uh, few months of uh, uh, that clementine sprouting, um, that's when I started uh, uh, sowing the, less of, the rest of the citrus. So I have uh, probably like grapefruits, lemons, um, clementines uh, growing here. Uh, but I cannot tell you which is which and they probably you know they say if you grow from seeds uh, they will not produce fruit especially here in North Jersey uh, but I've been enjoying growing them uh, they look great inside in the winter time when everything is sad and uh, gloomy but I have a, out today it's uh, uh, they, they said it's gonna be up to 70 degrees today so everything came outside to enjoy some Sun it's quite breezy. It was actually windier before. It's starting to settle, settle down a little bit right now. Uh, but it's going to rain uh, through the night. And crazy enough, they're predicting snow in a couple of days. Um, and snow like a day after that or so. Which is crazy. It's going to be April. So I have uh, two citruses growing in here. I've been clipping them uh, all short. I started doing that this year. They were growing too tall. And they say if you clip them, they grow side branches and grow broader and wide instead of tall. And in this big one, I have three, two nice tall ones. And this little one, which I think I'm gonna uh, remove. Uh, here's another one here growing actually two of them one with a nice thick trunk right there starting to bark out and another one here much smaller and the fig sneaking in in here <laughs> uh, and I have a couple more over there I have pretty much two um, in each big pot because uh, I was running out of containers uh, so I doubled up on them um, so over here on the table, I have smaller mix of smaller containers and terracotta, white terracotta containers. Um, again, uh, the ones that don't look to be doing that well. I mean, I've been growing these for three years now, and this one still looks like um, it's a year old. So the ones that are not doing well, I'm going to maybe remove, because I'm thinking of... Uh, um, refreshing the soil, up potting everything and uh, moving the pots around and giving them fresh soil. A lot of them are turning a little bit yellow. I don't know because they've been in these containers uh, for so long. 
Um, they're doing fairly well. I'm loving growing them. I love the leaves. And when you pick the leaves and um, break them a little bit, the citrusy, lemony uh, aroma come off of the, comes off of them. It's crazy. I love it. Um, but that's uh, another one. This one is by himself. Again, I tipped the top and he has like several branches branching out of the main stem. And this one, they, the stems stay green for a while. Even this one is still green. Um, but it's barking out nicely. The bark is growing. And as you move up to the top, it's all green stems. There's another one here. Uh, branching out right uh, like within like four or five inches off the base very nice and they have thorns on them all of them <laughs> which I'm not too happy about let me see if I can zoom in on that they're very very uh, tough and uh, they can get you um, it's painful you're trying to prune them and keep them Hopefully get a shot That's what I see. It's pretty windy and the sun comes and goes. That's okay, we're enjoying it. So look at the difference in size of this leaf uh, and this leaf. Uh, they're about the same age, all of them, like within maybe a few months difference, but uh, I guess each different species grows at its whim. I guess maybe uh, the soil also. Um, we have a uh, something to do with it. I don't have them that much uh, deep in the soil. I may actually uh, about them. I don't know if you could plant. I don't think you could plant um, uh, citrus trees like this and plant the stem deeper in the soil like you can do with tomatoes and peppers. I don't think they'll go rotten. Um, but this one doesn't have that much soil that it's growing in. Maybe like um, a foot or so, maybe even less, but it's doing well. It's one of the healthier ones, actually. Um, here's another one in the back here. Also growing nicely. A lot of branches on it. Uh, in the middle here, um, these two are either an apricot, a peach, or a nectarine. This one with a few leaves. This one was completely bare. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, it's starting to bud out and leaves come out. Very nice. And this one was similar to it. I don't know if this is a pomegranate or not. I remember I attempted to grow a pomegranate along with these a few years ago, but again, the tags got lost over the years. Um, and even if I do see the tags, it's illegible. I can't tell what's what. Uh, but next to this one, Oh, the bees are out already. Um, in the same pot next to this one that I suspect is a pomegranate. has a tons of branches on it. None of them has um, have fruited since I planted them. So, and I'm expecting that they never will. But uh, a few more years we'll see what's going on. But the citruses I might hold on to. Even though it's becoming difficult bringing them in and out. In and out uh, through the winter time. Uh, but here, I left these guys out actually in the greenhouse, uh, but the greenhouse didn't give them much protection overnight. Uh, the temperature dropped um, two nights in a row, like just above freezing actually. It did not drop uh, below freezing. I think it was like, they said 38 to 40 is going to be, and I thought they, were, they would do okay in the greenhouse, and I checked on them. Uh, after they spent the night out in the greenhouse, uh, one night they were okay, and then the next night I looked at them and the leaves were starting to brown up, and they're actually pretty stiff. And the bark is browning up a little bit also, um, so I don't know, I think um, keeping them in the greenhouse in the cool temps didn't do them that well. I uh, can't blame them, they don't like this weather. They don't belong in New Jersey, but I was hoping to hold on to them. These also are mangoes um, that I started from seeds uh, about three years ago also. Um, but I really hope they come back. Um, uh, they have beautiful leaves and they stayed evergreen also. And every year they flush out the new leaves that I don't think will come out this year. Come out of um, this point here. 
uh, but it looks like it's all burned off from uh, freezer burn from the cold night that they spent. I don't think uh, anything will happen unless they get a side branch. Maybe I'll cut that off and see if they grow side branches. But this one is, I think, uh, done. I don't know if it will flush out. But every year they would flush out new uh, leaves and they're so shiny and um, soft and delicate and dark purple brown colors they're beautiful um, but I don't know the tops look like they're burned off I don't know if they're gonna produce any new growth from the top but we'll see so those are those let me show you on the other side let me make sure I don't step on Hunter the big yard guard that's what his name tag says. <laughs> Let me give you a close up. This is my old man, Hunter. He's gonna be 19 years old next month, April, in a couple of weeks. Troublemaker. He chases the other two. He thinks he's a tough guy, but he can't jump. <laughs> And they figured him out. They jump on the furniture and the counters and easily get away from him. They they don't fear him. At and the rest over here are citrus. And let me zoom over here. These are the loquats. They're enjoying the sun with their nice big leaves. This one, one of them, I cut the top. And it has a little bud starting on there. Uh, it's going to grow a side branch. It already had a side branch. I was actually thinking of cutting it off also, but I left it. I just want the stem, the main stem, to grow um, nice and thick and round and strong. And maybe when I plant them in the ground in a year or two, they can tolerate the cold weather better. This is the other one that I did not cut. It has a couple of side branches on the top. Uh, but after this, I don't think I'm going to let it have new growth anymore. Until again, I let it uh, go in the ground. Beautiful evergreen leaves on them. I'm, I'm loving them. I love them in the winter time, especially when everything is brown and dark and gloomy. Uh, the other one has a yellowing leaf. I don't know why. I think maybe it was in the greenhouse also. So it may have to do with... Um, the cold temperature that they put up with through the night. And here's a nice stem. It's like maybe just less than an inch around and I want it to get nice and thick um, and round um, to tolerate the winter so we'll see what happens. But I'm loving them. There's Dani. <laughs> I had them running around outside but I need to keep an eye on them when they're outside but they won't let me film. Um, this is the grapevine. Also I got from a cutting from a, my brother and it was a, a cutting sad looking little stick not even a foot long but now it has new growths on it. Beautiful. So uh, uh, grapes uh, are supposed to be cold hardy so maybe I'll leave this in a pot to care of it indoors maybe another year and then bring it, uh, plant it outside somewhere. I already have two, two grape vines growing in the ground. Uh, they grew nicely, nice and long. I clipped them. Uh, those were from the store, but this one along with, let me zoom over without making me dizzy. Along with this one I got from my brother as uh, little cuttings last year. So I put them in the ground last year, it was the end of the season. But they're doing great. This is this is all this one new growth. Uh, just this month, it's crazy. I'm loving. They're still tiny leaves, but they look nice and healthy. And so I almost lost them because again, I had them here, and I went to work, and the temperature dropped crazy. And I came back, and uh, the buds had browned up like this one, and it looked like it's gonna die down completely. But they made it. Uh, this is a kale, red Russian kale, next to a Tuscan kale, and a dinosaur kale, doing good. These I um, uh, removed from the ground, from the garden, and put them in their own pots because I wanted to keep 
harvesting from them and see if they will um, I don't want to risk them uh, dying out outside I have about 20 different uh, kales and Georgia collars in the ground that survived the winter actually the dinosaur kale I don't know how to, they look the worst I don't know if anything will come back out of that one but that's why I took these out of the ground and potted them this is the Georgia collard they started to bolt here uh, so I keep cutting the tops off but they're growing tall and leggy I wonder if it will do them better if I plant them back in the ground and I have a uh, rosemary here and another dinosaur kale and a red Russian kale here and I uh, picked uh, leaves from all these guys about two three weeks ago I have made a nice um, healthy salad and look they're all um, getting new but serious growth again it's time to harvest from them I would gladly do <laughs> and eat from them again it was delicious salad uh, but these are my um, um, citrus and other fruit trees let me show you those over there um, but it's a lot of uh, containers some of them are really heavy like this one with the two avocados this one, these two are doing good growing nice and tall but I cut these also these two the main stem stays green all the way till you get to the base right there where the avocado seed is actually showing up but I want the whole stem to turn to start to turn brown and have um, a strong bark on it this is the other one before I comfortable leaving them outside for an extended period of time but again oh look gosh I'll show you this is uh, this um, it has two brown stems here this is where it died down because um, again I've been growing these for three years so every year pretty much I've been making mistakes with them uh, so this is where it died down one year I didn't cut it but it stayed like this so I don't want to touch it they're delicate you break off uh, something off of them and then the damage extends to the healthier branch so I didn't dare cut this off even though I want to remove it right from here um, but I'm afraid it's going to damage the rest of it but this is one year of leaving them out in the cold it died down and this is another year I made the same mistake again let it tolerate too much cold but I left it and look a side branch grew out of here and now that's the main continuation of the main stem but yeah but every year poor guys um, I think I'm hardening, hardening them off and then they can't deal with the North Jersey cold crazy weather and this also I'm gonna not let it have too many side branches I think this is it this nice side branch here and I cut the tip I want to strengthen the main stem another couple of years but these guys the avocados I don't think um, I can take them outside in the winter time at all the loquats I probably can in a year or two and the citrus I'm gonna experiment with a couple and see what happens and these are the the biggest container I have I think it has um, three citrus trees and actually one is a double and again I think this year I messed up this avocado it just this one was in the greenhouse same same problem as the other side I showed you um, to just above freezing temperature inside the greenhouse so really the temperature probably didn't drop um, that much below 40 for that long and still they couldn't tolerate it very sad uh, but this one I'm hoping it will come back uh, the main stem looks okay but the leaves um, totally got freezer burn uh, so I'm hoping for the best but we'll see very sad but look at the thorns on these guys all around but the cool one I wanted to show you this citrus on the other side um, it has two branches winding around each other Ugh, I'll touch these without getting poked with a thorn Right, let me see here. So these are actually two different uh, 
trees growing, winding around each other. And I was gonna separate them, but I'm like, let me see what happens if I leave them close together, see if they survive. Let me show you the base without getting poked. Two, two trees growing from two separate seeds. The roots are probably all intertwined. And right at the bottom, I can't show you that well, but they intertwine together. And then they grow close together but separate. So, I mean, it's the tallest of the ones I have in here. So I think they're doing okay. They're sharing the soil. And I'll keep taking care of them. But this is the bigger part and it's quite an effort now. <laughs> taking everything in and out all the time. And look, the sides of the pots are breaking on me. I have to be careful. Uh, as I move them around but I took everything out today um, I have the seedlings, the tomatoes and the peppers um, and the moringa trees and a few more figs in the greenhouse let me zoom over there slowly uh, but the trees also made it out today because they said it's gonna be 70 nice and warm for them it's overcast, the sun comes and goes, but it's better than being indoors for these guys. But I've been enjoying growing them. I'm very happy. It's um, quite a bit of a workout, but I think it's worth it. Um, so I hope you guys are planting away and experimenting and seeing what works for you. And um, I'll keep you updated on these guys and in another video I'm going to show you what I have going in the greenhouse. So keep planting away and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.